Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Cisco WebEx and the customized backgrounds and background blur. Uh, I'm going to show you how this feature works. It's pretty straightforward. And at the end, I'm actually going to talk about how to get the best image out of this feature as well. So stay tuned for that. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if this is helpful. Let's jump over to my computer and we'll check it out right now. Okay, so here we are. I have my WebEx window open. As you can see, this is the pre-meeting experience. It shows a self-view, so I can actually test these, uh, my camera angle, my lighting, and my background before I even join the meeting. As you can see in the upper right-hand corner, there is a change background icon, and I have a couple options. I have the none option, which is what I'm doing now. This is the default. This is no effect at all. I have blur, which I'll put on. You can see it does a pretty darn good job of blurring out the stuff behind me. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the performance of how this all works at the end. Uh, and there are backgrounds to choose from. Now there's a lot of, uh, not a lot, but a couple of Cisco predefined options. This is a nice executive office. There is a home office in the woods, uh, a beach scene, and then a couple others as well. Uh, last but not least, you can actually come down here and choose your own. Uh, and it does give you recommendations on the size of the image. Uh, my preference is to find a really nice uh, desktop wallpaper image and because you know it's gonna be large enough and they're typically really nice pictures. So I have this uh, desktop wallpaper of, um, you know, someplace tropical. Uh, anyhow, uh, set that up. You can see those options and get it configured the way that you like it. And then you can start the meeting and I'll show you in just a second how you change the backgrounds once you're already in a meeting. From inside of a meeting, the options are very similar. You can come up to the upper right-hand corner again and uh, choose the drop-down. You'll see the change virtual background option there. It's gonna open a window, again, a preview window, so you can apply the effect before you go live with it. Uh, if you change it, then simply hit apply and it'll be active in the call. Likewise, if you come to the bottom here where it says stop video or you can toggle your video and you choose that drop-down, uh, you can change your camera, those type of settings here, but you can also change your virtual background here and it's gonna bring up that same settings window where you can make your selection and go from there. The last thing I wanna point out are some performance tips. Now, this does take a lot of horsepower from your computer to actually render this image. It's essentially doing a lot of math behind the scenes to figure out where does the human you know, start and stop and where does the stuff in the background start and stop. So as you can see, as I move around, uh, particularly above my head there, the picture kind of comes in focus right around the, the edge of my head. Uh, a pro tip is to be well lit. So that makes it work a lot better. And then also, uh, if you can be in front of a background that is solid color, right? Or something that is, uh, doesn't have a lot of lines and stuff in it. So it's, detecting you know where's the line around the edge of my head and it intersects with the picture frame and that can give you that effect that you see there where there's a little bit of stuff that's not uh edited out now this is the background blur so it's very it's more discreet it's a little harder to tell if i change this to an image you can see as i move around occasionally something will pop through there's that that picture frame make sure that you are well lit and it's going to do a pretty darn good job for you so uh anyway Hopefully this was helpful. If you have questions, comments, tips, tricks, leave them in the video comment section below. I wanna thank you for watching, have fun, and uh, enjoy your meeting.